Today we're going to show you how to terminate the high density jack from Legrand using a category 6A jack and cable. The parts you need to complete the termination are a cable stripper, your cable and your HDJ jack, the free crimp termination tool that comes supplied with each carton or bulk pack of jacks, and either lineman's shears or small diagonal cutters. Today we're going to use lineman shears. Before you start, notice the termination tool, jack and lacing cap all have a label that indicates the top of the component. This will help in the final steps of the termination. The first thing we need to do to get started is to strip the jacket off our cable using the cable stripper. You're going to want to strip about an inch and a quarter to two inches off of the jacket. Then spread your pairs back. This will expose any spline that may be in the cable. Trim any spline so that it's flush with the end of the cable's jacket. Next, lace the cable wires through the appropriate channels in the lacing cap. Make sure you align the color of the cable wires to the relevant color coding on the lacing cap. TIA defines two different wiring configurations, T568A and T568B. Here we're going to use the T568B method. Now you can untwist your pairs and set the wires into the appropriate slots. Match the wire color to the sticker on the lacing cap, making sure the solid wire color matches the solid slot and the color white wire matches the color white slot. Again, notice we're following the schematic for T568B, shown here on the lacing cap. Now your wires should be set in the appropriate slots. Trim the excess wire as close to flush with the lacing cap as possible. Now you're ready to start the termination. We're going to set the lacing cap into the back of the jack. The label here indicates the top of the lacing cap. Align the lacing cap to the top of the jack body and seat both parts together. Make sure the tabs align with the grooves in the housing. To complete the termination, fully insert the assembled jack into the free termination tool like shown, making sure the top of the tool is facing you, then squeeze the handles together until you hear a click. 